Good morning, everybody. Well, good day, good afternoon. This is Lisa with the Awkward Quilter. We are working on our sampler sew along block number six. Today is February 8th, 2024. We chose our block, our basic block number six, which was hearts. And we also chose Alpine Cross for our more advanced block. If you want information for either them, either of the patterns, you can go to my community tab. The basic block link will be in the description portion of this video. But I am going to go ahead and give you sizes. This is not from the pattern. This is from what I have created myself. But it will work exactly the same. And as always, if you find a block that you like, you can substitute it. There are many heart blocks out there on the web as well as on YouTube. Find one that matches your comfort level. Choose the colors and fabrics that you love. This is going to be your quilt, so make it something that you will enjoy for years to come. Okay, so let's get started. I do have my Creative Grid 12.5, 12 and a half inch ruler that I will be utilizing for this series for all 20 blocks. I have cut my fabric down so you will need a dark and a light print or two uh, different fabric prints that you choose. You'll need a rotary cutter, a fabric marking tool, and some pins. I'm going to go ahead and give you the sizes if you can see. So you may want to go ahead and screenshot this. But for our dark fabrics, you will need two six and a half by 12 and a half inch strips. For your light fabric, you will need two three and a half inch squares, two two and a half inch squares, and two six and a half inch squares. This is a really easy, fun block, very easy to make. I'll show you some um, shortcuts and some tricks. So let me put that aside. Let's get going. Now I've already cut out my pieces. So I have my six and a half, my three and a half, and my two and a half for my light color fabrics. And then I have my dark fabric, which is going to be the heart itself. And that is six and a half by 12 and a half inches. So what we are going to do is let me move some of this out of my way. We are going to take our two blocks, our two dark pieces of fabric and lay them out. And we are simply gonna mirror these. So we are going to place right sides facing each other we are going to place our white six and a half on top of our dark. And let me get this straight. I need to mark it on this side. And we are going to mark one, on the diagonal, 
Well, let me see if I have a darker pen that will show up for you. Again, this is a fabric marker. So we're going to make one that way. And remember, we're doing opposite sides. So if I put it down like this, you are going to have a bottom or a downward facing triangle. So you want to mark it like that. Then we are going to take our, let's go ahead and put a pin in this just to hold it in place because we will be sewing directly on that line. And one of my one of my tricks or tips is that if you want to remember what angle or what direction your line is going to be, your sew line is going to be, I normally put my pin facing the direction I want to sew. So we are going to put our three and a half on either outside corner. So it is going to look like this. You are going to make another diagonal line. We're going to stick a pin in that one. And that one. So when you flip it over, it is going to look like this. I just want to make sure everything is going in the right direction. And now we are going to take my two and a half inch square that I seem to have lost somewhere. Okay, y'all, it's just hiding from me. Up here we go. Whew. It's only 3.30 in the morning, early in the morning as I'm taping this. So sometimes my brain has not quite woken up yet. So now we are going to take our two and a half inch blocks and we are going to place it on the opposite corner. And we are going to draw a diagonal line. Remember, we are mirror. We are making mirror air images. And we are going to stick a pin this one. and one of the helpful things this for this block like I said it's a very quick and easy block once you have your fabric cut which is just 
four different sizes. But one of the easiest things about this is we can go ahead and take care of sewing both sections at the same time because nothing touches or overlaps each other. There is enough space between each light fabric on top of the dark fabric that you do not have to worry about something being missized. So we are just going to take both pieces to the sewing machine. We are going to drop our stitch length down to two, two one eighth or 1.8 or two um, inches or a 2.0 we are going to sew that up and the reason why we drop our stitch length from the standard stitch length is just so those seams are a little tighter and you do not risk them tearing apart or you seeing that seam line where they're splitting so i am going over to my sewing machine Let's get Little piece of scrap material to the material. I guess I should have been a little bit more prepared because my sewing machine is not going to be ready. Get that. Just get rid of that. Me position. See if I can position you. Not seeing that bot. So now we are going to just sew straight on this line of the diagonal. Is nice and I'm not filling on the fabric. I'm letting the sewing machine do its job. And it does not matter which one you sew first, we are just sewing it all together. 
And this is such an easy block that you could make, sit down and have a nice sewing day. Go ahead and just cut your fabric and sew, and you'll have a good top and a good top. And this is the last one, I believe. It's just... Six. Easy stitch lines. So now I have my blocks and they look like this, or my two units and they look like this. And we want to just pull it back, make certain there's coverage for all our pieces. If it's not, this would be your safe time to take Jack out and Rip those seams and repeat the process. Okay, but everything looks good. From here, what I want to do is I'm going to set my seams before I do any cutting. So I'm going to get my little ironing mat. And setting my seams, I'm simply just running my hot iron over it and all it does is relaxes those seams so we'll have nice cuts now if you are using a fabric marker that disappears with heat those lines that you made will disappear but no worries those stitch lines are there so we are just going to cut on those lines and starting with our first block, we are going to cut a quarter inch away from that sew line that we just stitched. Save those pieces because we can use them in another project. Fabricate is a little expensive and so we want to utilize every piece and they can work into a scrap quilt you may have a pattern that calls for half square triangles um, so we have that cut i'm going to do the same for this And quarter inch away from that seam line. And my creative grids ruler does have a quarter inch mark. If you are using an omni grid or any other type of ruler, just find that quarter inch mark and make your cuts. Set these scraps aside for a later project. And get my ironing mat out again. Now I'm going to press these open. I'm going to set my seams once more and press these i'm going to press one unit towards the white
And it's important on this step to make certain that you press it out. And that way our block lies nice and flat. In my other section, I am going to press towards the dark. And that is because we are going to sew these two blocks together. And so we will be able to have our seams next. Nice and perfect. So now I have both block units pressed. Let me move this out of the way. And now you have two units that look like this. So you can see our heart is starting to take shape. This is going to be our final step, step, our sew step. We are going to fold that over and we are just going to sew a quarter inch away. You want to open it up, make sure that you're sewing the longest part of the thread together or your longest part of the dark. There are two areas that will nest together and you want to nest that as best you can. I am going to pin it for this video and you can choose to pop another pin in there if you want. If you're comfortable not doing that, that's fine as well. So we are just going to go ahead and take this final one. Scenes. And there you have it. We are just going to press that open. Let's here i apologize that so i pressed it open and here we go that is a our heart block and as i was saying you can make multiple heart blocks play with them use different colors flip them around in your quilt make a row uh, one upside down so many easy things, easy block to put together. Um, nice sew. It would be beautiful for a baby quilt and softer pastels. But there you have it, your heart block. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in, a com in the comment section below in the bottom of this video and I try to answer all questions. If you make a blog and you would like me to make a video on this YouTube channel, you can go ahead and email me at awkwardquilterga at gmail.com. 
But that's it for today. And we will see you next time. As always, be blessed, be kind, and keep sowing. Thank you.